Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. There has been a couple of YouTubers who have challenged their subscribers to do a affordable makeup face. Um, and they've went to the Dollar Tree, is what they've done. So I went to the Dollar Tree today, and all their products is LA Colors. Um, every product I got is an LA Color product, except for I got a brush, and it is a Wet n Wild brush. They didn't have any elf brushes, but I've got a Wet n Wild brush. I got BS Smile, which is an affordable brush from um, Amazon. Um, this is a little cheap brush I got at CVS here in town. So, I hope you all are in focus. Um, I was laying down watching TV. My belly wasn't feeling too good. I thought I'd go ahead and film this and edit it and get it up. Uh, one day next week. So I'll check it if it's out of focus, then we'll see. Um, Maddie and I have done some rearranging in the, the, the beauty room. We've changed some things around. Um, I am going to do a beauty tour, beauty tour, beauty room tour as soon as I get. I've got a shelf over there, it's got to be hung up, and I've got two shelves over here. And unfortunately, the one over here is a huge shelf that Josh made himself out of maple wood, walnut wood, it's heavy wood. I can't hold it myself. And then the two shelves over here are just like these shelves. Except we're going to stack them on top of each other. So, we're going to go ahead and get this started. I went ahead and put my simple primer on, or my simple moisturizer on. And for primer, I'm going to go in with e.l.f. primer because they didn't have primer at the Dollar Tree. Um, e.l.f. primer is like three dollars. So, I mean, to me that's still affordable. Everything else is a dollar in makeup wise so I'm gonna put a couple of dabs of this this is just silicone um, primer and like I said there's been a couple of youtubers that I'm ascribed to Kate Casey Holmes is the one who done a list and then at the bottom she said and all of my other followers if you have YouTube channels and I thought well I've not done this so this is my challenge so if any of you have started out or want to start out I challenge you to do this. It's very easily done. I got foundation and I got it LA Colors. It's called um, Liquid Lit, uh, Liquid Makes the Makeup Foundation, and it's in natural. Um, so we're going to give it a whirl. This is the only product that I bought that has a chemical smell to it. So I hope it doesn't bother me too bad. So I'm going to go in with BS Small which is from Amazon. You get a kit of them. Like I said the other day, uh, I think it's like you can get four face brushes and four or five eyeshadow brushes. So, we're going to start by putting this on my face. And this stuff, it don't take much at all. Um, Maddie and I was playing with it a little bit earlier today. We're going to start rubbing this in. And since it ain't porcelain, I'm going to have to actually rub and really work it in because it's natural so it's a little bit more of a beige tone um it will probably oxidize on me but i just want to show you all that there is affordable makeup out there guys i'm telling you i hit the clearance aisles at walmart cvs um kmart walgreens i look for prices and stuff on on um target i hit target's clearance and do my makeup. Now starting out um, was e.l.f. mainly and then I've kind of branched out into some high, higher end foundations and stuff, eyeshadows especially. So this doesn't have really great coverage but I mean it's buildable. You can build it. Um, and where I don't have any kind where I'm not supposed to use any kind of high maintenance or high quality stuff, then I can't. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is powder, because I'm going to go ahead and lay my powder down. And it's LA, and it's in nude also. And the, it took me forever to figure this out, and Maddie actually figured it out. It doesn't snap together. It slides. So you hold the top, and you slide the bottom, and it slides. So on a... Walmart brand brush that I got back during Christmas in a little kit after Christmas for like 
two dollars for it. We're gonna powder my face. We're not gonna bake the under eye or any of that stuff either. I'm just gonna powder my foundation down. It's been raining here really bad. I hope it doesn't rain the race out because it's not until the night. For those of you who follow the race, it's in Bristol, which is where my husband's at. Of course, he's working it, so. Okay, so now we got the powder down. So that's another just cheap, inexpensive brush you can get. Um, I found some really cool ones after Christmas that I put back just for in case things. I'm not going to do it eye, eye base because I didn't have eye base, but the eyeshadow colors I got is uh, Lucky. It's called Lucky and they're green. Um, they're very pretty. I get them on camera. I've still got to change the lights in my D back, my D back there. They're real pretty greens. Um, I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm going to take this light olive green up here at the top. And I'm going to work it into my crease. My mirror is dirty. I told Maddie to quit putting her fingers on it today, but she doesn't listen. Okay, now. Now let's get back to where I was at. And it doesn't say what color that is. It's just, it's the olive green up in the corner. And I have green eyes, and I thought, well, green will be pretty. That's a pretty transition shade. I'm going to go on the other side. These are really pigmented. Not a lot, of, not hardly any fallout at all. Um, I was shocked by it, actually. And I only went to, the, we have two Dollar Store, or Dollar Trees in my area. Uh, the first one's in Big Stone, and then the second one's in Wise. And I didn't go to Wise. Um, I just went to the one here in Big Stone. So I may have found more products there. And then with my Wet n Wild brush, uh, I'm going to go in with this copper toned down here at the bottom. It's a real pretty copper tone. I'm going to put that on my lid. Like I said, there's not a lot of fallout here. Maddie wanted me to film this while she was here, but I can't get her to sit still and be quiet, and I can't get her to understand that it picks up every single noise. Every single sound that you hear it goes off. I'm going to pick up the angle brush again. And I'm going to go in with the olive green again, and I'm just going to decrease that harsh line. Just blend that out. And that foundation really ain't too bad. No powder. And then I'm going to take a e.l.f. brush. It's called uh, just a professional eyeshadow brush. It's elf. It's a dollar. So and I'm gonna take this white right here, and I'm gonna go right below my brow brow bone and highlight that just a little bit. And go ahead and do that on both sides. If you hear somebody talking, it's the skinner. I forgot to cut it down. I don't normally cut it down and shut the door, and I forgot to do that. So, okay, there's the eyes so far. The brow, uh, eyebrow pencil, this is an eyeliner and eyebrow pencil, both LA color. It's the only shade they had was dark brown. I believe that's what it was dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. So, I'm going to have to really work my um, spoolie. And my spoolie is an elf spoolie, and I think it was a dollar also. So, we're going to run that through our brows. And this is a sharpening pencil, so you can sharpen it. And as you can see, it's pretty dark. 
and then we're going to run my spoolie through it. And since I can't use, um, let's see, I bet I can get by with using, hold on a second, I did an unboxing yesterday, I ain't got that edited yet, uh, I may take the computer into the bedroom and do that. But in my unboxing, I did, um, well, I can do e.l.f. I can do e.l.f. for a gel, for a clear gel. Because e.l.f.'s a reasonable price. I'm going to have the right one. You know, we'll just do e.l.f. I was going to do Ulta. But we'll just do e.l.f. Marking bad boys down. I got a candle burning over here and try not to burn my arm. Singe my hairs. I can see me calling Josh now. Uh, can you come home? I kind of like scorched myself. Okay, then I got this blush and it's called Berry Plum. And it's LA color and it's very, very pretty. It's a very pretty plum color. And I bought a new Wet n Wild brush from there. So we're gonna, and it's real pigmented too, so we're gonna tap it as we hit it. And we're just gonna put this right in here. They didn't have anything that I could bronze with. Everything was too dark. So I thought, well, I'll just do the minimums. Blush, eyeshadow, and you know. Okay, and the next thing is going to be mascara, and it's LA Mascara, and it's supposed to be able to plumpify your lashes, so we're going to try this, and see, seems to be coating pretty good. She also did a $400 makeup haul. I can't do that. I could do it max out credit cards. I'm not doing that. Uh, she's been a YouTuber for a long time and she's collabed with a bunch of people so um, her paycheck and my paycheck are completely different paychecks so I'm sure she could probably afford to do something like that. I can't. Um, this mascara is not half bad actually guys. And I wanted to do all, and they have LA color there, so that's the reason I got all LA, LA color. Uh, I did find this though. They had their Wet n Wild Enhanced and Define Mascara in very black. I got two of them because I love Wet n Wild Mascara, so I went ahead and picked them up just to have in my arsenal. The next one I'm using is LA Color Lipstick, and it's called Luxurious Ledger, Wine. It's beautiful. Maddie had to try it on her lips. Matter of fact, it's the top right there. And I'm so used to a liquid lipstick that we get this. Okay. Well, that completes this nice little challenge tutorial, however you want to call it. I challenge you all to try it. Um, it can be done. It's very simple. Um, you know, if if you all want me to list in the comments where I get my, you know, um, exactly the names of the brushes and that kind of thing, I can do that. Uh, I can go back on my Amazon account and look it up and find it and do it. Um, comment if you like these kind of things, if you like challenges. Um, if you like seeing me do challenges and uh, subscribe if you don't subscribe period because we have a giveaway going on. I like this blush. I like these eyeshadows and I will probably use them again to be honest with you. This lipstick is a very pretty lipstick. Um, foundation isn't itching me so that's a good thing because if it was going to bother me it already started. Um, eyeshadow done really well. It didn't crease. It hasn't creased. Um, yeah. I'm happy with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
less than seven, eight, less than ten dollars worth of products on my face. Yeah, it can be done. Guys, I'm showing you, it can be done. So, uh, wherever you are in day, I hope you have a good one. Uh, I love each and every one of you. I challenge every one of you, if you have a YouTube channel, to do this challenge, if you can. Um, ten dollars will get you just about everything you need. They do have a little five kit um, brush set, but they're like travel size. They're like this big. And I thought, you know, I've got enough um, elf brushes at home that I can work with them and, and be okay with this challenge. So, um, yeah. Comment in the comment bar if um, if you've tried LA Colors and what you think about it. I had never tried LA Colors. Um, and the only thing different that I used that wasn't LA Color was my e.l.f. Uh, mineral primer. And you, I, I'm, tr I'm a true believer in your moisturizer and your primer on your face before your foundation. That's just me. So I'm going to go and probably get ready to watch some of the race if they don't get rained out. And like I said, night or day, wherever you are, have a good one. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. I love y'all.